Hello, so just a little disclaimer, if I go wrong I'm really sorry because I know there's, there's a huge fan base of Supernatural and I'm worried I'm going to offend some Supernatural fans if I go wrong with this but here's my attempt of Abaddon from Supernatural and um, I really hope you enjoy. So I'm going to just kick off by paling my skin up a bit um, just because it's just a start and I know that's what I want to do. I've got my Makeup Forever foundation and a Snazaroo white paint which will lighten my skin up even further. Um, this is in shade 110. Now don't hate me for this but I have yet to lose my supernatural virginity. I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. I mean I know it's I've been heard it's absolutely brilliant and quite a few loads of my friends love it and I hear like, lots of great reviews and so I've been recommended it so many times I just haven't got around to watching it now if you know my videos you probably guess which look I'm going for for a Abaddon and I'm going for the look where I think and from what I've read she gets cut up and Sam and Dean sew her back together so she's, she's like a Frankenstein she's got the neck sewed across there and uh, so she's practically dead but alive so I she's got really pale skin um, just because I thought the look was a bit more interesting her normal natural look is like a really pretty pin-up makeup and it is really really, really pretty but um, I just thought there's been so many pin up tutorials done on YouTube. I don't want to really bore you with another one. Now there's not much um, with the brows. The brows are quite quite light so I'm just taking a brow brush and just brushing mine up like that. It's not really that much for the brows particularly when she's like this in the in this scene. Okay, now I've got this um, powder by MAC. I'm going to just dab it onto my skin. And what this will do, just give me a little bit of skin colour back. Because I think applying this really light foundation and the white before really takes the colour of my skin. I don't want to do that. I just want to almost take a little bit of life out of my skin. I, mean, I don't even know if she's like dead or not. I'm not sure. I think she's just a demon. I'm sure you'll correct me. And I'm going to do a tiny bit of contouring for myself. Um, I didn't. It didn't look like there was any real contour done for the actress um, Elena Huff, Huffman, I believe her name is, um, because I think she just looked. She was naturally quite contoured anyway, and she's got a lovely shaped face, and I don't. So I need to just do put a little bit of make my skin look a little bit hollow. Just adding some contour. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the eyes. Now I'm going to use one of my favourite products for creating a sort of deftly look. It's the uh, Quite Natural by MAC Paint Pot. I'm going to stick this underneath the eye to begin with. I'm going right, right underneath. Don't be afraid to just coat that bag under your eye. This looks really cool. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. Marla Singer meets Marilyn Monroe and what you can do, which is really fun, is with this colour um, you don't have to be neat I mean you can it's like splodge it, you can you know have it some parts right up here, some parts right down here it doesn't really matter, you want to sort of really Just anything goes with this makeup. Just make sure it's nice and heavy. And then just, and then just taking a small brush and just literally stroking down this shadow. It could be rough, rough as you want. Remember, don't you don't really need to make this look look pretty. I mean, you have just been cut up into tiny pieces and sewn back together, so you're not going to look your best, are you? Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of shade mixing. I've got a red pencil, a brown pencil and a black pencil. These are from MAC, Bourgeois and Avon. But 
any any colours you, and basically you just want colours that are um, sort of warm browny tones really and here you really just want to improvise really so I'm just going to put some black along there put a bit of brown And I'm actually going to use the red in my waterline. So it really helps to bring out that red sort of blood shot eyes like I've um, I don't know, been cut into tiny pieces I guess. So obviously, with, so obviously with these pencils you can be as rough as you want because just with a with a small brush or just I'm just using a Q-tip, you can just blend those colours out and down. Okay, I've got a brown eyeshadow. This is just from Shira Mirror, and it's a medium brown. And just to sort of enhance that dirty unevenness, I've got just popping. That, just a little bit like that. Okay, now I'm going to take a neutral light colour for me. Um, yes, this will do. Just going to use um, that shade for my Clinique quad. But any any light skin colour will do. I'm going to pop this onto the lid area. Because I want to maintain that sort of pin up look that Abaddon had. Be a little bit more interesting. I'm going to add a tiny bit of Vaseline. Now if you've got one of those eye glosses, which MAC do I think, and I think some other brands do, I don't have any of those, so that's why I'm using Vaseline. I mean Vaseline works fine, but I think an eye gloss would probably be better because it's more suited for that kind of look. But you want that sort of gr like, mm, messy oily eye so if, a, if you're using Vaseline only use a tiny amount too much will sort of move your makeup around too much okay now we're going to move on to the pinup part of the look I'm going to use a grey um, because for the line to start off with because um, it kind of looks like she's had that line eyeliner on and because um, over time that she's died and come back to life um, it's sort of faded a bit so it's like a I'm going to use a grey to make it look like a black that's faded okay now onto that liner I'm going to use where did I put it here we are um, my Clinique True black liner. So I went to see uh, Behind the Candelabra last night. Actually, never, night, two nights ago. Which is the film about uh, Liberace. Yeah, it was really, really good. I thought Michael Douglas was absolutely brilliant as Liberace. I thought that um, Matt Damon was good too. I just thought he was a bit miscast because um, the real Scott, um, Liberace's uh, partner at the time, was only like in his early to mid twenties. I think Matt Damon's like. In its 40s now. So I don't know why they. I mean, if you look at photographs of um, uh, Scott, the real Scott, um, he he does look look like a young Mac Damon. So maybe they just cast him for that. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, there was one scene in the film that really I almost wanted to punch the air, like I almost, almost wanted to do yes. Um, it was actually the very 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 first scene of the film 
and it's when um, Scott is in the bar and uh, the guy comes up to him and they're in this club and the music music's playing really loudly and they start chatting and um, they're chatting I'm sorry, just use my mascara this is a benefit their real mascara um, they're chatting in this club and they're chatting by shouting into each other's ears which I was like, thank god a film's finally done that because I don't know about you, but I know it, it really annoys me when TV shows and films, and, and they're in clubs and they're just talking normally, they can hear each other talking you know, you know when you go to clubs and discos, you are literally shouting into people's ears aren't you? so when I, when I saw that scene I was like, yes finally okay now we're going to go for a red lip and um, forget all the rules that red lips need to be neat with this look it doesn't have to be I'm starting off with uh, Mac Auburn lip pencil, and I'm just gonna just fill in the space it's shaping my lip. And what I'm gonna do on this side is encourage the lipstick to bleed out. The lipstick I'm going to use on top of that is Fatal Red by Maybelline. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly have a bit of fun. I'm going to just quickly do all the blood and guts down here. Um, obviously this is optional and um, you don't have to do this. In fact, you don't have to do any part of this look. Um, but I just want to go the full hog. I'm going to do all of the makeup. Well I think I'm done, I really hope I've done okay, um, I'm sorry if it's not exactly like it. So thank you very much for watching, this has been my Abaddon inspired tutorial for Supernatural and I really hope you have enjoyed. Bye!